On the morning of April 12th, 1981, half a million people gathered at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to witness the space shuttle's first flight into orbit. The world held its breath. During tests for the first Apollo launch in 1967, three American astronauts had died. A repeat of this tragedy could destroy the shuttle program. It was very tense. Uh, the very first time we flew the shuttle, uh, the whole shuttle system was the first time the whole shuttle stack flew uh, with people on board. They had tested the main engines on the ground. They had tested the solid boosters on the ground. <laughs> Everything else was an unknown. After a decade in the making, the space shuttle and her crew were about to face their zero hour. T minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. As they're getting ready to start the engines, they initiate the deluge, and you see these literally tons of water going down into the flame pit. Six, five, four, we have a go for the main engine start. And then you see the explosive start of these engines that turns this water into steam. We have the engine start. And out of this cloud of steam, comes this rocket ship riding a pillar of fire. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. And then this beast, this creature, just rose very gently. It's saying, let me go. I've been born. I'm ready to fly. It, it was like, this is working. Your heart's pounding at that period of time, but you're also listening to these reports coming in, and you say, hey, it, it's going pretty doggone well. Seeing that vehicle lift off was the highlight of my entire career. 